Okay, hi everyone, welcome to a new video. So this is a new video in my series of PyQt5 tutorials. So this video targets a specific task, and in this case, this task will be to actually open up a file dialog in which you will be able to browse files on your machine. So as you know, whether you have a web or desktop or any sort of application that you sometimes would have a button and it would say browse and you would open it and you would go to your file explorer, choose a file and open it. So this is essentially what I'm going to do right now and this is what I'll be showing you in this video. So stay tuned for that. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're actually going to create a simple GUI to be able to accomplish this task. And to do so, we're going to go to PyQt5 Designer. So let me just go back to PyQt5 Designer. So what you need to do is you have to type designer in your search bar because it sort of exists. This software exists with your original Python site packages. So if you're not able to actually find it, then there's like no problem, but you can just search it from here. So anyways, opening it up, we wait for it to open. You can close this command here. All right, so this is PyQt5 Designer. So if this is your first time using PyQt5 Designer, I highly doubt though, um, because this is a sort of specific task. However, if it is your first time, you can refer to a video of mine on installing and using Designer. It's a short four minute video, I believe. And you can check that out for more information on Designer, how to set it up and how to use it. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to create a dialogue without buttons. So let's just press create. And this is the dialogue that I have with a width of 400 pixels and a height of 300. So there's no problem here. I'm not going to have any sort of styling or, you know, like CSS here because this is more of a task that we're trying to accomplish and less of an actual GUI that we're trying to build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add a line edit right here. So and I'll explain in a minute. And then I'm going to add a push button. And this button is going to say browse. And this is just going to be a slightly longer line edit. And like, all right. So this is what we have. I'm just going to name this as, let's say, file name. And then this would be the browse. So here I'm labeling the items or widgets that I have. And then I can be able to refer to these through my Python code. All right. So let me just save this first and then we can actually talk about it. So let's just save it. So let's call it GUI.UI. All right, so this is what we have. So now that we've saved it. So this is all that we need for this tutorial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a file dialog with the browse button and then type in the file name here. So the way you would see it through any sort of existing application. All right, so let's start coding. Let's start coding this and working on it. So this is an empty Atom file. So that I've created, it's called browse files qd 5 and it's clear atom file you can use pycharm or any other python editor for this i chose to use atom because it's a simple task and not really deserving of a project but in all cases it's not really important okay so we're going to get started with our imports so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to import this which we'll be using to actually launch the pyqt5 application that we just designed then the next thing we're going to be importing is from pyqt5 we're going to import PyQt, uh, I'm sorry, Qt widgets. And then from PyQt5.Qt widgets, we're going to import QDialog and QApplication and QFileDialog, which is what we will mainly be using to actually open up the browse file function. So then from pyqt5.uic, we're going to import load ui, which is the which is the function all right. So to actually connect with our application to launch this application, we need a class, and this class should directly be related to a GUI. So the way we're going to do it is just we're going to say class main window, let's say, and this would be a Q dialog. And then we're just going to define the constructor function. So this is super. And then we specify main window self dot init. And then 
and then we're going to load UI. So this is the UI that we're going to be loading or opening. All right, so this is basically just setting everything up and actually connecting it. So to actually launch this, so through our main method, you could say, what we need to do is we have to define a queue application. And this application should follow sys.rd. And then what we're going to do is that we're actually going to create a widget. So let me just paste this out so it's not confusing. Then we're going to create a variable called main window and then initialize a main, a main window instance of the class. Then I'm going to have a widget and this widget could be a Qt widget dot Q stack widget. All right, and then this widget, I would have to add to it the main window instance. So widget dot add widget main window. Another thing you can do is that you can actually set a fixed uh, width. So a 400 and a set fixed height of 300. All right, so you're pretty much good to go. What you have to do next is you have to widget.show and then to actually launch the application, you have to sys.exit and then app.execute. All right, so that's basically it. So now let's just test it out. We obviously don't have any functionalities for the button or the text field yet, but let's just make sure everything's connected and everything's working. So let's just run it. And this is our dialog. This is the widget that we just made. And we have the text edit here as well as the browse button that has nothing yet. So let's just work on that for now and just complete it. So that's the purpose of this video. So here we want to self.browse. So we named this button. Let's go back here. So this button right here is named browse. So let's just go back to the code. So self.browse.clicked.connect. And then we have to specify a function name here. So I'm just going to say self.browse files. And then I'm going to create this function. All right. So this is so by saying that when the browse button is clicked, take yourself to the browse files function. All right. So now I want to open up this browse file um, dialog and I want to actually see the files that exist on my machine through file explorer so here's what I do so let's say file name or f name so what you need to do here is q file dialog dot get open file name and then you specify a series of variables so the first thing you need to do is you have to refer to yourself then you specify a name for the dialog so the title of the dialog which I'll just show you in a minute when we run it and demo it you have to give it a name so let's just say open file and you have to specify a path so this path would be where your file browser would open to which existing folder before you can actually start navigating so now i'm just going to give it some default path so let's just say d and code first.io which is my channel video content and let's just leave it at that for now and then we can just change things according to the file explorer and we'll demo things later in the video we're going to specify a file type. So here you say what files you're exactly looking for. This is optional. If you don't specify a file type, you can access all the files. So let's just first leave it at that and then we can actually refer to it and change it as needed. So the last thing we have to do here is actually set the text of the text edit of the text edit. So we just have to self dot uh, self. So we just have to self dot let's go back here. And what did we name this? We named this file name. So let's just say file name dot set text and you would give it f name sub zero. All right. Now run it. And now if you press the browse button, it opens up file explore, explorer. By default, it opens up my, my folder that I specified. So the path I specified. So this open file title right here, here it is. So this is the title of the dialog. And it has all files because we did not specify a certain file option. Now I'm inside this folder right here. So PyQt5 tutorials, browse files. So this is our current tutorial. There's an XML file as well as the current Python file as well as some um, images. So to specify that I want specifically an XML file, or let's say I want to go to this path itself. So let's just specify 
this path. Now let's close this and close this. So let me just change the path. And this is the path. And I want to specify that I only want XML files. So here's what I have to do. So XML files. And then I open this up and say dot XML. And now I can run it. Now if I press browse, it takes me to this uh, folder, but I don't see the images anymore. I don't see the Python file. All I see is this XML file because right here we have XML files selected. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Now if I press this file, this the file name right here would show up in this um, text edit that we created. So this is basically how you would choose to browse a file. You can also change this to image files. So let's say image or images, and then you would say star.png.xmp and then .jpg, and then you run it, open this up, and here we go. So we have images, and these are the only files we're allowed to see, and we can select this one, and we would have the name in this text field. So that's pretty much it for this video. So it's supposed to be just accomplishing this short menial task in PyKT5 that can prove to be complicated if you don't know where to start. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Bye bye.